guys, Alpha here, back with another Minecraft tour here on the Vadax server, and today we got a beautiful plot here. Hopefully you enjoyed those little cinematic clips. Um, but yeah, we got this wonderful plot made by Calliopo. I cannot pronounce his name good enough, but his name is down in the description so you guys can check out his name there. Um, which is kind of weird, because he, he put this sign here, so I'm guessing people that would fly around would check out his plot. Kind of little information board here, but he never put his name, which is kind of weird. Uh, but his name is down in the description, so you guys can go ahead and check him out there. Um, but basically, the town that he built here is named Falconworth. And um, he basically built it for, let's see, built for inspiration and ideas built to test unique styles of creative ideas. Um, and he thinks Hepe and Sarah, both two mods that like to help around here, um, he thanks them for, I'm guessing, some suggestions that uh, they probably gave him. And it uh, says, open door equals building has interior. Okay, so any door that's open has an interior. So that's pretty cool. He even added an interior. There's a lot of detail into this uh, plot. So he definitely did deserve set, and I'm pretty sure he did get it. So I don't know really where to start exactly, but um, I'm going to try to cover most of it as I can. And if, and if I can't cover it all, you guys are probably just going to have to come and check it out here on the server yourselves. Um, but his name is down in the description. You guys can go ahead and uh, figure out whose plot it is. Um, but yeah, basically, oh man, I really do not know where to start. But there's so much stuff everywhere. This is a very well done scent plot. Uh, it's just, I guess we'll start here, I guess. So he has an open door here. It's really dark to see. Can't really see much going on here. Um, but he has an interior, which is pretty cool. We get some sort of... A bed there. Oh, what? Water. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Water in the building. I got some nice cabinets there, but this is a pretty cool interior. Very, uh, kind of looks like abandoned almost. Oh, oh, let's see if it open. Open means it has interior, so let's not close the doors. Uh, don't really know. Like, even I have, like, these little bridges that wrap around the trees to get to different areas, which is just awesome. Really, really cool. Um, so just using the trees is kind of like... Um, a, tr ty a type of path is just really awesome. But you guys can see here, he has like a little wheat farm going down there, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. Um, but yeah, there's just so much little details everywhere. So he like, he spent, well, I don't know how long on this, but uh, he definitely packed it with a lot of little details. And since he doesn't have world edit, all oh, this was placed by hand and pretty much all done by hand. It was just incredible. I cannot imagine. Like, it's just a lot of work to do by hand. Um, alright, so over here we got, uh, you got Seth from Scarecrow, and that's one of the mods out here on the server. That's Hepe, basically. This is this different account. Um, but, uh, here's another tree that leads you, I have no clue where, little tiny tree house, I'm guessing. Um, pretty cool. That looks awesome. I like how he did that to his trees. It's really awesome. Uh, he has a windmill going on here, which is pretty cool. Very small one. I want to see if I could try to get into this. Um, you see, like, this leads to another path. I'm not going to continue that just yet. Um, but I, it pretty much looks like it just continues off this way into, like, the main little town. There's, like, a little cove here. Or something. What does this say down here? Savage does not approve, but it's a regular, a regular customer. This is healthy for him. What? What is all this? Is like a drug trade? Yep, drug trade. That's the uh, black market there, I'm guessing. Uh, but uh, that's pretty cool. Like you see, little tiny Easter eggs even added. Like, look at that. That's the well from the town that connects to this little cove here. So that's pretty cool. Like, everything has its purpose and everything fits and makes sense. Nothing's there just for no reason. It has like some sort of a purpose, which is pretty cool. I really like that. Um, so let's see. You got this building doesn't have the door open, so no interior. Well, let's see where where do we have any interiors around? Because we usually don't show interiors. Not not many people do them. They're not really needed or that important. But this is pretty cool. Little small, tiny interior for these little houses, which are pretty nice. What's in here? This little cabinet space area. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. I like how everything's very like the town and everything here is very well planned. But here's the well which leads down there into that cove down there. Um, but everything's very well planned out. Let's go ahead and have a look at these buildings from like a bit of a higher view because it's very like cramped in there. 
but it's like that's what I really like about it it's very close and very planned out like the terrain fits perfectly with the paths and it's just very nice and uh, snuggled together I guess you could say but look at those the buildings are quite nice um, it's like a medieval-ish no, well I want to say kind of elvish but it's not really um, it's like a wood punk yeah like a wood punk I guess um, but look at this here's another building here this one actually is an upstairs let's go ahead and head up here real quick uh, yeah look at that it looks pretty cool I like that yeah, let's head up here well, and then leads to a kind of watchtower area which is pretty sweet uh, alright so this area continues off this way well, we've already been in here this continues off this way and you got kind of like these little sitting areas little pots and plants and all that just some very tiny details everywhere it's just crazy um, yeah and this looks like a half of a building which is pretty cool I guess uh, this leads down this way hopefully this all like rounds about to so I could get to the other side without having to find out the other path and stuff look here's another interior right here I'm guessing this is like a blacksmith that's pretty cool I like this this looks nice how's it look from this side yeah that's pretty cool I like this uh, blacksmith very well done um, usually a blacksmith is usually outside kind of like under a cover I guess well kind of is a bit like broken up and stuff uh, and then you got like another little bedroom going on here, a house, kind of path. It kind of ends right about there, I would say. Let's see, does it? Is there any other path that connects that? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and head off this way. I want to try to cover as much as this as I can. Um, so here was the windmill. Uh, the windmill did have interior. I believe it's just goes up one. Yeah, one. It goes up right about here, and that's pretty much it. Very small and simple interior. Um, but it's nonetheless still really nice. Um, look at that. That looks cool. A little waterfall coming down from there. And this huge little wheat field that looks quite nice. But this part actually lights down like... It's really hard to get up. But I'm guessing just couldn't make it work. But um, going down works a little bit more better. But uh, basically this leads down to like this little foresty area. That way. Uh, this way I believe it rounds about to where we started. Yeah, I believe. Yep. We started right about there. So this rounds around right about over here, but this takes you to this little foresty area, which is pretty cool. You got a bunch of just random stuff. It's kind of supposed to be, I guess, spooky, I'm guessing, or something. It's very darkish in this area because it covers a lot of the sky, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Um, lots of little details, and it just looks really, really good. A lot, of the, a lot of trees. These trees are very nice. They're all different as well. well they all had to be because he couldn't cu copy paste them because he didn't have world in it. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, those the, this this whole island area here is pretty cool. But and then he even has like this dock that's under the train. Like it's just crazy. Like he just fit as much as he possibly could. And I don't want to go through everything because it's just so much to cover. You guys can go ahead and come on here and check it out yourselves and get some inspiration for yourself. Um, but this is just amazing. This this whole plot is really, really good. I really, really like it. But I would gotta say, my favorite thing from this entire plot... Wow, this this dog sure does go pretty far. Um, my favorite... Wait, what's over here? What is this? Whoa, it just went real modern on us. Well, that's weird. Uh, this is out of place, but that's pretty... Pretty crazy, I don't know what's all that. Whoa, what's that, a camera? <laughs> Look at that. This just totally went out of place. Um, but, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but what I gotta say, my favorite part about this build is this tower here. This is just absolutely perfect. You couldn't have nailed it any better. The, the path, like, going around the terrain and the building itself, it's like a building within terrain, but the path wrapping it like a snake is just absolutely gorgeous. Perfectly done. Oh, look, there's Aaron, just there checking out the view. Um, but very, very well done. <laughs> uh, I really like it a lot. It's just incredibly nice. And um, I do believe there is interior as well. It says, time to go back down. So I'm pretty sure this just leads you all the way back down. Yeah, there's even like little balconies. Like, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. This plot has just nailed it perfectly. Um, as far as like views and stuff and the way everything's planned out like you could see 
the little village up there. Hold up, I wanna get out of here. How do you get out of here? But yeah, look at this. There's like decorations everywhere and every little piece you could possibly fit in. Now how do I get out of here? All right, that's not a way out. Okay. Doesn't look like there's a front door. Uh, front door? No, no front door. We're just gonna go ahead and do slash top. But, nonetheless, it's just amazing. What does it say here? Princess Sarah's Tower. Alright, well, Sarah already claimed it, apparently. But look at that. Just, like, you could see a little bit of the greens, and then, like, like a little town area poking at the top. It's just perfect. It's picture perfect. Like, it's just very well made. I really like this plot. It's one of my favorites, um, for sure. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to leave that to tell the guy he did an amazing job down in the comment section below um, As well as check out this plot yourself But don't forget to tell me any plots that you guys want me to go check out here on the server by putting down your name Maybe it's your plot or a plot you're recommending for someone else um, Whether they're sentinel veteran or any of the ones it don't really matter I'm just kind of looking for a lot of sentinel ones if you guys know any really really good sentinel ones That's the ones I'm looking for the most because I think it just looks really cool doing cinematic views of those um, but nonetheless, just send me any of them, pretty much. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.